What's up, y'all? It's your man's well back for another video. I'm jumping right back in it. I, not a break, not a skip, not a nothing. We just, we just heading for it. Uh, does this need charge? Yeah, this needs charge. Okay. So in the last video, in the last video, you saw that we defeated Scratch. Um, I doubt that's gonna be the first time that we have to fight Scratch. Uh, but it is what it is. Let, let's. Hopefully at this point they'll allow me to play what's his face because we don't he it seems like he's still in the uh I forget the name of the thing um the other the other side whatever where are we at. Scratches wakes double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? Scratch pretended to be wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wakes. I think he was always a monster. Always scratch. Hmm. The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <sighs> I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start okay, acting like we're on the same shit, side, yeah? So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau of course, Intel it's highly on all Bad news, it's highly Hopefully classified. It's highly classified. Good, Good news, news. Good girl, shut up. deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Yeah, Here give me the damn the key. Keep the Stupid files. ass. Happy reading. Okay. Um. Yeah, give me the damn key. Thanks. Key. Stupid ass nigga. Prison Go team. Yeah, you fucking loony. The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here, even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening mm. their existence. Mm, my ex-wife couldn't ex -wife. take it. Karen, you're okay. better off without her. I see you, baby. I know okay. I am. Okay, let me start doing these these detective works here. Start profiling. Scratch was pretending to be awake, manipulating me. What does he want from me? <laughs> No, I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. Mm. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. You're not probably not going to do that again. Assumed Wake escaped yes. the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. 
gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Oh, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. This is the kind of case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. Okay.
I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yuck was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. That was a secret neighborhood watch. And cutting people's hearts out? Well, that was the idea anyways. Please make that make sense, though. Look, you we've you always cutting known people about the up and you taking the their lake. hearts out. When any taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into taken. You kill the ones who already have. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just named it half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear is a great motive. Let's start profiling. Elmo said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a Taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Keep trying. Think Saga.
The Dark Presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Hmm. I'm gonna deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Elmo. So the cold of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Too many versions of the truth. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family, me, 
the whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. The lake is a gateway to the Dark Place. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? I need to know what information I can still trust. <laughs> the clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. Wake told me the clicker would fix this, but Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do.
The clicker can fix this. But I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. I've got it now. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything for good. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. You let me know when you're ready. I'm still seeing spots from those lights. What the heck was that about? Can anybody see inside? Are, are they still there? Every time something exciting happens in...
interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess this is the time that we we should be able to go back and play as as a uh, as Alan in the dark place. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to this area and switch to Alan Wake in the dark place. I think you may be right. Might have been a mistake to come here. Yeah. This is so messed up. I know. I'm sorry. Hey. Uh, I think knew. you may. Able to escape. A dark presence had stopped me. I had seen the title page of another manuscript. I would write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower. something a little different. A deep dive into who he is as an artist and as a man. Where he comes from, where he draws his inspiration, what demons he wrestles with in the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. We just do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it. and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up feel and mama gave me a magic clicker well yes i think it's true and fair to say
this is ridiculous.
this is oh my god and again now i'm about to start shooting people
That was pretty good. A vision. This is the dumbest, bro. I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. right herald of darkness lost in the whatever dude this dude is this dude is loony bro what 
Laitto pojat jenkkakoneet soimaan. Atana. <laughs> Okay, so that that's where we're gonna end for today. Like for real, just this is the two parts or chapters in a row. So this is just where we're gonna end for right now. Um, again, if you enjoy the videos, if you enjoy the content, please make sure you go ahead. You just you destroy that like button. You go ahead. You demolish that subscribe button. Make sure you go ahead and click that notification bell to be a part of the Big Bad Gang. Make sure you go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me some things that you like, some things that you didn't like, some theories that you may have. And then make sure you go ahead and you click that share button. Um, share it to your mama, your daddy, your brother, sister, your cousin, your grandpa, and your grandma. Because, you know, we out here trying to find us a nice, sexy, thick, juicy, sugar mama who's going to be out here paying our bills. All right? So, hey, man, for everyone that's here, if you watch to the end, type in Bat Gang in the comments so I know that, hey, this, this person will watch to the end. But, hey, man, again, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.